They help you remember things. That's why they're mnemonic. Now on to the next episode of Word Smart Genius now, Volume 2. Now let's review two. the five words you have just learned. The next set of words is split into Socrates and Plato. Incredulous. Uh, let's see. One of us needs to be Socrates. I think it's obvious that that's me. Oh, it's obvious, is it? Refusing yes. or reluctant. I'll be the teacher be and you can be my student. Skeptical. I think you're getting a little bit carried Incredulous. away. Quiet or I'll make you stay after class, you naughty boy. Why don't you just begin? Invective. Fine. The first eight words are the Socrates words, and the first word is docent. At some universities, a docent is or a teacher or instructor who is not language. on the faculty. Invective. The ladies' auxiliary club listened to the docent as she illuminated the finer points of Sidney Lumet's technique. A docent can also be a tour guide or lecturer, especially at a museum or church. Troublesome the docent led them through the Monet retrospective. Oppressive. I like the sound Honorous. of that. Since I consider myself the tour guide of this tape, I guess I'll be your docent Perverse. for the rest of your new words. Oh, you will, will you? Well, that might also make you my pedagogue. A pedagogue is Stubbornly a teacher or schoolmaster. Even in the face of truth. The class was tired of Perverse. the obvious and minuscule points being enumerated by the lecturer, who was known to be something of a pedagogue. Propitious. As in the example you just heard, pedagogue is often used when a teacher is being pedantic, which comes from the same Favorably root. Inclined. If someone is pedantic, Kindly they dwell disposed. on too many small points or treat their students Propitious. as if they're children. Accordingly, the term pedagogue can be used to mean if you haven't teacher mastered of children. Some of the words yet, the that's tenth fine. grade students Go complained to the headmaster to that their new calculus instructor was Remember, a complete pedagogue. Master these she words. was making them say their multiplication tables and testing them on long division. Okay, on second thought, I wouldn't call you my pedagogue. I don't want to be treated like a child. Hmm, I'll try to avoid this doing is unit that if I can. Pedagogue is also related to pedagogy, which is the Ruminate. science of teaching especially with respect to teaching methods. It does not, however, carry the negative connotation that we see in pedagogue and pedantic. Or review you know, I think you're starting to get to a meditate. little pedantic. For Use. a pedagogue, you have a lot to learn I'd about like pedagogy. To ruminate over you this need to get some better training in the science of teaching. Steve you know, still as your teacher, I have been trained in many sciences. College in the fall. For example, I know ruminate. numismatics, R -U which is the collection of coins, tokens, or currency. Because he was engaged in numismatics, Enrique was able to sell his valuable two-headed nickel. My cousin Carrie is obsessed with numismatics. Admonish. She thinks one day her jar of pennies will be worth a fortune. M -O -M -I -S -S. Numismatics is also the general study of coins or currency. To reprove the FBI Jenny. agents detected to the caution. counterfeiters by using their expertise in numismatics. You know, I admire One hopes you the yokels who designed the new hundred dollar bill know numismatics because Watching they surely the don't know aesthetics. It's child. the ugliest piece Reminded of currency in the history of, of civilization. Admonish. Gee, I guess if you know numismatics, I'd better be careful. If I ever need to pay you for something, I won't be able to use fake money. To reprove Honey, gently. you can't afford me. To caution. Honey. To warn. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you just better move on. Hmm? Fine. Another Pursuit. science I'm trained in is hermeneutics, the study of interpretation of literature. -E. The theater hired a Covered hermeneutics expert hair. to consult Shaggy. on its new production of Henry IV. Santa Claus is her they weren't smile. sure of the meanings of some of Shakespeare's expressions. Over. My macho Hermeneutics friend especially claims refers that women to study of ecclesiastic or religious chest. texts. Hersuit. The final resting place of the ancient biblical relics is unknown. A good mastery of hermeneutics Covered would help provide hair. clues to it. Shaggy. Hermeneutics is very difficult work. It's very intellectual and brainy. Ignominious. Yes, it's very cognitive. I -G That's the next word. N -O cognitive means -I related to thinking, reasoning, or intellectual activity, -S. as opposed to emotions. Deserving Glenn's analysis of the dishonor. music was all Humiliating. cognitive. He Shameful. fully explained its structure, Our but didn't say in any way if he was moved by it. Defeat. You the may have heard the phrase cognitive dissonance. It refers His to a psychological condition. A person dismissal. who has cognitive dissonance is experiencing anxiety I resulting from inconsistencies between her beliefs I and her actions. I -O -U when she voted for the conservative Deserving bitter old windbag, Mary found herself in a state of cognitive dissonance. Shameful. She knew he was ardently against abortion rights, which she strongly supported. Implacable. Well, then she I should have voted for the other candidate, shouldn't she? C -A that seems simple enough. B -L -E. It does, doesn't it? Impossible it's weird how people get distracted by elected officials shifting positions on issues. The he general public gets friend, caught up in the rhetoric and winds up making enemy. emotional instead of cognitive decisions. Politicians' campaign literature can be very deceptive and vague. 
That's where I come in again. I am. I can study their pamphlets and interpret for you where they're avoiding the issues using my expertise in hermeneutics. Great. What would we do without all your expertise? Well, that's what I do. I'm frequently called upon to examine someone else's writings. Then I publish an Now exegesis. Now let's review the five an words you have just yes. learned. An exegesis is an explanation, interpretation, or critique Ruminate. of a word, phrase, or literary passage. Suzanne's exegesis detailed the shortcomings of the last to passages in Milton's Paradise mentally. Lost. To like meditate, hermeneutics, an use. exegesis is often related Ruminate. to religious works. The scholar's exegesis on the book of Genesis Admonish. was deemed blasphemous by the Vatican. He'd written that Adam and Eve were just a couple of kids having some fun. I'd have to critique to that scholar gently. myself. To I see. So you to could warn. write an exegesis Admonish. on someone else's exegesis? That's right. Then, after detailing its Pursuit. numerous flaws, I'd amend it. To amend something is to correct it or make it better. Covered Again, it's hair. a word most commonly Shaggy. used in reference Pursuit. to literature or text. Zachary discovered that the article simply Ignominious. describes Sondheim as a great composer. He amended the passage to read, the greatest composer in the history of Deserving all eternity. Deserving disgrace hmm. or dishonor. I guess everyone Humiliate. has an opinion. Shameful. The editor thought Ignominious. his client's final chapter was inconsistent and poorly written. Together, the two of them amended it. That's a good example. You know, if you want to give me a copy of that book you've been working on, I'll happily Impossible amend it to for make you. Peace with. Well, Incapable you must think forgiving. for some strange reason Implacable. that I respect your talents. Let me disabuse you of that notion. If you haven't mastered to disabuse some of the means words to clear up a misconception, fine. to get rid of someone else's this unit false perception as often as or idea. Remember, you can After master the student these skipped words. the final six classes, the professor disabused her of the notion that she could still pass now the course. Now let's ruminate over the meaning of My recording of partner ruminate. was disabused of her opinion the that she was beautiful when she looked into the mirror graphic, and it cracked. Physical and rather you seem to think you were being funny just then. To chew My the lack of laughter is, will disabuse you of that inclusion. Animals like right. cattle and, and let me disabuse you of the notion that I think of you as any kind of qualified teacher at all. Whether you're a docent or not, up, Socrates, slowly chew it some more, and then well, finally swallow it. Any student so to of pedagogy over an would know that we should review these words to, think to learn about, them. But so, to think about it patiently and carefully over a docent, long period of time. A non-faculty teacher it, at some university, a tour guide at a museum, and thoroughly understand pedagog, it and exhaust a teacher all of its or possibilities. Master. Especially one who is pedantic and harps on Precisely. insignificant details so, or treats her students you want like a children. Quick decision, don't ask someone to the study or collecting of coins or, or currency. But if you want a carefully considered answer and the you have the patience the to wait for it, of asking them to ruminate, especially to really texts. chew over the idea, Cognitive. is the right approach. Relating to thinking, as in, reasoning, Mr. Latham, conscious there's thought, no rush. as opposed we to emotions or desires. We want you to be completely desires. convinced that you Exegesis. understand our proposal Critical analysis. and that it's the best option Explanation for you. Or interpretation ruminate of a passage, over it for a week phrase and then give word. us a call. Especially in relation I think to we've religious mused texts. over this concept thoroughly Amen. now. Yes, to improve I or correct a literary text. Disabuse. To clear up a misconception. To correct someone. That's the end of the list for the Socrates words. And now someone who can this really take Unit those words 80. and give them meaning. Professor Ike Unred, the renowned literature expert. Voluble. And V O L U. Um, the renowned literature -E. expert. Ike? Smooth or fluent Good afternoon, in speech. Class. Talkative. Welcome to Our the Science of Interpreting Literature know when to shut or Hermeneutics. Up. He is normally quiet, we go any but further, becomes voluble after one glass of wine. To a voluble. In your excellent course textbook, L -U which I wrote, -E. please turn to page 69, or where you'll see the speech. error in the third Talkative. paragraph of the text. The passage now reads, His diary Anomaly. showed what an a asinine, pandering, Doddering old lunatic he was. The exception Please to the rule. To say, out of the ordinary. His diary abnormal. showed what an Our idiotic, pandering, stuttering old lunatic he was. Thank you. Physically active <laughs> I remember when I first that Elvis that Presley Jesus album Jesus is a real is anomaly poetry. in your classical music harmony. collection. It took anomaly. all the cognitive power I had to wrestle with that murky text. O -M it a serves as a reminder to you the that this term will be out of the ordinary. Abnormal. As your docent, 
Let me take this moment to disabuse you of any notions that this will be an easy course. Wild you want easy? Go study Untamed. currency. A That's pack easy. of feral dogs terrorize <laughs> the neighborhood. That's a discipline filled with little path, coin the collecting wimps. left the scene of feral but savagery. With me, you'll feral. be studying literature. -E That's right. Literature, uncontrolled, books, Untamed. articles, essays. Now that's entertainment. We're going to Palpable. get to the bottom of what P -A -L -P -A -L -E. people write. And the only way to do that Capable is to study language itself. Obvious. Now, many After may call me a debate, pedagogue the for this at the meeting was exercise, palpable. but it's crucial a palpable that we start sense of at the very foundation of literature at the very the big beginning. Game. Palpable. So, Say your P -A -L -P -A -L -E. ABCs with me. A -B -L -E. Everyone. E. A B Capable of C. Being touched Come or on. felt. Louder. Like you mean it. D E I Paroxysm. Hear you? P A R. Well, that professor was S -L. something else. I wonder what it would be outburst. like to be one of his students. I can't imagine My being his student, so but I guess I'll have to think about it because we're now up to Plato or the student group of words. That's right. Sue and remember, broke out in paroxysms I'm the teacher. of laughter You're the at student. Pete's joke. Right. Paroxysm. Like I'd ever learn a thing from you. P -A no, you wouldn't, because you're too puerile. That's our first word, and it means immature or juvenile. The puerile executive was bored at lunch and spent his time taking the icing off of cupcakes and smearing it into the hair of his colleagues. What a random thing to say. Hey, now it's let's not review so the five words. I know you have I've just seen learned. someone I know do that somewhere. I'm moving on. How about this? Volume. Neil hated it when he had to babysit little Mikey Z. The puerile brat was ill tempered and would always make prank phone calls Smooth from his room. Or fluent not bad. In speech. I like mine better. Talkative. You know, you're always Voluble. such a cheerleader for yourself. Why must you always iterate your accomplishments? Anomaly. By iterate, you must mean that I repeat them again and again. Yup. That's what iterate the means. Exception to, the rule. to do or say something Out of the repeatedly. Ordinary. She was always iterating what Anomaly. a great teacher she was. See? It rolls right off the tongue. So does reiterate, Feral. which basically means the same thing. Both reiterate and iterate are synonyms for repeat. I have to Wild reiterate that I think of you as Untamed. puerile. And Feral. I iterate that I find you to be no great teacher. Yes, you're reiterating yourself now. But why don't you think of me as a good teacher? I'm so accomplished. Perhaps Capable if you're of mimetic touched, of me, you too will be a scholar obvious. someday. Palpable. Mimetic means imitative. The girl was mimetic of her mom. When Paroxysm. her parents were out of the house, the girl swigged the bourbon just like mommy. Mimetic is often used to describe a art. Sudden or violent In an artistic burst. context, a it fit. means imitating the natural world. Paroxysm. The lighting design of the production of Guys and Dolls was mimetic of New York's Times Square. If you haven't mastered some of the words, there were yet, even that's real fine. traffic lights and Go marquees back and on stage. To this unit you as can hear the word needed. mime in mimetic. Remember, that you makes can sense these because words. a mime mimics actions and to mime means to mimic or imitate. As I passed the mime in Central Park, I noticed he was being mimetic this of me. Unit 81. He repeated my every action exactly. Repeated your every action, hmm? How enthralling for you. Yes, at first it was, but then it got tiresome. After watching it for a long time, I was in a resigned lassitude. Severe lassitude is a state of lethargy, weariness, or listlessness. Suffering. The professor's endless droning on about the finer points of French existentialist literature forced the class into a confused lassitude. Jeez, if I had learned more vocabulary sooner, I wouldn't have to listen to this program. The cutesy repartee forces me to surrender to an apathetic lassitude. T nice example. N. Really? Severe hey, affliction, I call him as I distress, see him. or hardship. Well, for the next Suffer. word, ideate before you speak. You mean think before I talk? Twiddle. Yep. Ideate. T to form an idea of, to conceive or imagine. E. To the team had never even idea. had a winning season. Toy it was therefore player. impossible for the fans to ideate Stop the players going all the way to the World to Series. While it's easy to see the word decision, idea in ideate. That should help you to remember its meaning. Its old fountain you can head. ideate a mnemonic for Twitter. ideate right now. T -W when I'm a scholar, I will ideate a way to make better teachers. They should be hortative. Hortative means encouraging, inciting, or giving advice. 
Whenever someone gives you a pep Bill talk, five. they're being hortative. V I. The president's commencement speech was filled with hortative anecdotes to the graduating class, but no real advice on how to proceed into the vicious job market. The candidate After vilified Craig fell his opponent's off his reputation. Bike, his world she crumbled, and he never wanted to ride again. In front of their but friends. his dad's hortative words vilified. gave him the strength to give it another shot and try his best. Oh, to speak that's badly beautiful. Slander. You really Defend. have a way with words. What is it with you? That was just so melodramatic. Admiration. I'm sure you'd prefer a Pablum. Um, what? G Isn't a Pablum like G oatmeal or something? Mm -hmm. It's a kitty's breakfast cereal. Denial. So you're saying I'd like a kitty's breakfast cereal? Hunger well, strikes the meaning of the noun Pablum is derived from the cereal's consistency. Pablum is very soft and bland, the with no strong taste. Trappist very months. easy for infants to eat. So Pablum refers to writing which is bland, easy to digest, palatable. -A Nixon's biographer wanted to avoid controversy, so he turned a powerful chapter about Watergate into a simple Pablum of names and dates. Amenable. He used to tackle his interviews, -E looking for an angle, looking for dirt. -E now he just writes Pablum about the size of Agreeable. celebrities' houses and what Open their next projects suggestion. will be. Willing Pablum sounds like advice. a word right up your alley. I am Simplify amenable it. to the Make terms of your proposal. That's what you're all about, isn't it? After we've oh, fully please. explained the Trying new Trying to learn something package, with you is positively Sisyphean. Quite amenable. That means it's endless amenable. and toilsome. A it's ineffective and yet continuous. I know what Sisyphean means. It Agreeable. comes from the Greek myth Open of Sisyphus. To yep. Willing King to Sisyphus heed advice. displeased the gods when he was reluctant to be put into hell. They got especially angry at him because he'd already wrangled his way out of some other punishments they'd planned. So when they finally got him into purgatory, they gave him the, the task of pushing a huge, yeah, heavy learned. rock up a steep, treacherous hill. Every time he neared the top of the hill, the rock would fall over to the bottom of the other side. So he was forced to go down and retrieve it, and he spends all eternity doing Severe just that, pushing the rock up or hardship, and then retrieving it. Suffering. Accordingly, Sisyphean means any task which has no end and yet is futile. The mime's attempt to teach the blind people the art of miming was Sisyphean. The poor transit authority to staff twirl, is idly, given the Sisyphean toy, task of cleaning with. all the subway car Twiddle. windows. Since a new layer of grime adheres to each car every day, no Vilify. real progress is ever made. How sad to make no progress. But we've made some progress, haven't we? Yes, to speak badly that's all the Plato words. Slander. And it's time Defend. now for a quick quiz on Vilify. them. Puerile. Juvenile. Immature. Iterate. Abnegation. To say or do something again or repeatedly. Mimetic. Imitative. In art or literature, imitative of the natural world. Lassitude. A state of lethargy, weariness, or listlessness. Ideate. Amenable. Form an idea of. Conceive. Hortative. Giving advice. Encouraging. Agreeable. Inciting. Open to suggestion. Pablum. Willing to Writing heed advice. oversimplified Amenable. or bland. Easy to digest. Palatable. Sisyphean. If you haven't Endless mastered and toilsome, some of the words yet, that's fine. And ineffective. Go back and listen to this unit as now often as needed. Now for an informative and Remember, exciting anecdote you can containing these, these words. words. Let's listen to culture lover Davy McAvoy. Whatever. <laughs> you know, like, trying to get my this girlfriend and then to appreciate the arts is like, you know, a major Sisyphean task. A setting. She is... She's so puerile. All she wants to do is, you know, play video a games who habitually or watch Jim Carrey videos. His tendency no towards solitude and introspection. Yeah, you know, her idea well of reading the is the problem that's put out by by and some daily entertainment austere brat. Lifestyle. But this week, I gave her a hoarded of speech you know, and convinced her to go to a musical with me. I see. Well, she a complained. I iterated this himself. desire to see musicals again and again, and <laughs> that she always wanted winds up Bellicose. in a depressed, boozy -E lassitude when we go. C -O -S -E. She's, she really likes her Inclined double bourbon and intermission, you know? Quarrelsome I don't know pugnacious. what to do. Please but repress I told her in this show that the composer has ideated something very mimetic of real life. Home life but at a work, story about I can be coping like and just getting the Bellicose. month's rent paid. B -E -L -L well, she went with me yeah, and we saw Rent -E. together. She loved it. And Inclined now she carves portraits out of Quarrelsome. soap and moved Pugnacious. into a squatter's commune, you know, and she's dyed her hair and pierced her eyebrows. The nine. <laughs> so, -E 
I'm trying to get her to appreciate the arts a little bit less. Of a kind disposition. Gentle. Okay. Favorable. You've heard both groups of words. I now we'll have a final quiz on all the words influence. in both sets. You'll the hear the word, CEO's then a sentence with a word from either Professor neglect. Ike Enreed's diatribe benign. or art lover Davy McAvoy's anecdote. Then you'll hear a quick definition. And finally, one last usage of the word in a sentence Gentle. to bang the point Favorable. home. Okay? Okay. Okay. Docent. Credulous. As your docent, let me take this moment to disabuse you of any notions that this will be an easy course. Disposed to believe a docent on is a teacher at some universities who isn't on the Only faculty. A, credulous person a docent is also a tour guide, especially lie. at a museum. The swindler found the a docent market showed them into the manuscript room, the which contains townsville. the original lyrics to credulous. Let It Be. Hermeneutics. -E Welcome to the science of interpreting literature, or hermeneutics. Disposed to hermeneutics is the science of interpreting evidence. literature. Gullible. To analyze the earlier works of Sir Thomas More, one needs to have a keen Paradigm. grasp of hermeneutics. D -A -R -A -D -I but I told her that in this show, Model the composer pattern. has ideated Example. something very mimetic of he real life. A, a story of just about coping fire. and getting the month's rent Roman paid. Roman law became a paradigm mimetic for means future imitative. Western legal codes. In art or literature, paradigm. it means imitative of the natural world. The dancers drew together and apart in twos and threes, mimetic Model. of a cocktail party. Pattern. Exegesis. Example. Ah, I remember when I first wrote that brilliant exegesis. An exegesis is a critical analysis or explanation of a literary passage now, or let's phrase. Review the five words you My have exegesis just learned. on the Pickwick Papers details Dickens' tendency towards racism. Latitude. She complained I've iterated this musical kick again and again, and that she always winds a up in a depressed, boozy lassitude when we go. Himself. She really Ascetic. likes her double bourbon at intermission. Lassitude is a state of lethargy, weariness, Bellicose. or listlessness. Working on my script until four in the morning left me in a deep lassitude. Numismatics. Inclined to fight. Numismatics. Pugnacious. <laughs> That's a discipline Bellicose. filled with little coin-collecting wimps. Numismatics Benign. is the study or collecting of coins or currency. He showed me his massive collection of two-dollar bills and told of me he'd always really been into numismatics. Gentle. Disabused. Favorable. Benign. As your docent, let me take this moment to disabuse you of any notions that this will be an easy Bridges. course. To disabuse is to clear up a misconception for someone. Sandra Disposed still calls me every night despite evidence. all my efforts Gullible. to disabuse her of the notion Bridges. that I liked her. Hortative. But Paradigm. this week, I gave her a hortative speech and convinced her to go to a musical with me. Hortative means giving advice, Model. encouraging, Pattern. inciting. Example. Dad's hortative Paradigm. way with words made me want to get right back on the horse and try again, even though I just broke my leg on the last jump. Some of the words yet, cognitive. Go back it took all the cognitive to power I had to wrestle with needed. that murky text. Remember, you can cognitive means these related words. to thinking, reasoning, or conscious thought. It was the cognitive side of me this that knew a night spent with Bambi would only 10. lead to regrets the following morning. Puerile. She's so puerile. All she wants to do is play video games or watch Jim Carrey movies. Puerile means juvenile or immature. You've heard it said, I'm sure. I was turned off by his puerile habit of frying hands under the sun with a magnifying glass. I represented by the same Mandarin characters. Ideate. And that the Chinese definition but of crisis is literally But I told her that in this show, the composer has ideated something wind. very mimetic of You've real life. You've also heard that necessity a story about coping is the mother and just of invention. getting the month's rent paid. This was never proven so to colorfully as during the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. As the crowd After hearing the rainstorm, the O'Mara the ideated the opening bars to her burst. magnum opus, it was so busy one day that the waffle vendor ran out of pedagogue. cardboard plates. All the other vendors now, you jealously hoarded their supply of plates, exercise, and no one would help him replenish that we start his plates. At the very he was doomed of to go out of business. The very beginning. That's the way the old so, waffle crumbles, say remarked the ice cream man. You'd better toss in the towel and a work for me selling ice cream. Or teacher, the waffle vendor had no choice one who was but to when try to teaches. recoup his losses selling Sean ice cream. Grew weary sold of the to him at very slim margins by his competitor. As he was about to go broke, with all the excess waffle batter ready to sell, his wife had a brilliant idea. Yeah. 
She made a batch of 1,000 waffles and the pressed them thin with a flat iron. While they were still rag. hot, she rolled them Pablum into a circular pattern with a point at the bottom. Or bland. The next morning, she Hank and her husband sold to all of the ice cream that he had bought at inflated prices before noon, he preferred to along stick to with the Pablum put up by the studio's own paid reviewers. As a result of his running out of plates upon which to serve his waffles, his wife had simply invented what we now refer to as the ice cream cone. Which some Please people amend still it to call say his diary cone. showed what an idiotic the moral pandering of the story is to view change as normal. Thank you. Constantly monitor and evaluate to your capacity to for or change your pace, text. for flexibility, Lee had for new ideas, might be for the next surprises, great American novel. and for rapid but adaptability after a few chapters, to change. She it would don't need engage to be in all or nothing deal. thinking. Sisyphean. If things don't work out exactly the Trying way you had planned them, salvage a good situation, is a and when stumbling task. blocks fall into your path, Sisyphean turn them into stepping stones for success. Continual and this ineffective. vocabulary program will give you my new ways to, to express yourself and innovative ways to present your creative ideas. Every night is when a mess crisis again. enters the room, Iterate. immediately think, she where's the opportunity this inside of this challenge? Whenever anyone around me gets frustrated and upset with a negative surprise or an unforeseen to iterate back, is I say, to utter let's or go say again repeatedly. Cone and I come iterated up with one final time to my roommate that he had better be out the next day or I'd set his things on fire. Well, you're not very understanding. But at least I have a good vocabulary. This is Unit 83. And so will you now that you've learned the Socrates and Plato words. Use these words in a few sentences Sequester. this week and you'll make them your S -E -Q -U -E -S -T -E -R. own. S E Q U E S T E R. To set apart. Isolate. Seclude. The jury was sequestered due to the amount of publicity the trial generated. Sequester yourself and avoid all distractions when working on a big project. Sequester. S-E-Q-U-E-S-T-E-R. To set apart. Isolate. Seclude. Stodgy. S T O D G Y. Dull or commonplace. Boring. People think of CPAs as being stodgy, but that's not always true. Stodgy businesses seldom reap benefits from global trade. Stodgy. S T O D G Y. Dull or commonplace. Boring. Suffuse, S-U-F-F-U-S-E, to overspread with a fluid or color, to bathe, to flood. Sunlight suffuses the clear waters of the coral reef. Her face was suffused with joy when she heard the good news. Suffuse, S-U-F-F-U-S-E. To overspread with a fluid or color. To bathe. To flood. Travesty. T R A V E S T Y. An insulting mockery. A grotesque imitation. A sham. The way Congress deals with overexpenditure is a travesty of its own budget reduction legislation. Burlesque shows are a travesty of legitimate theater. Travesty. T-R-A-V-E-S-T-Y. An insulting mockery, a grotesque imitation, a sham. Celerity. C-E-L-E-R-I-T-Y. Swiftness of action or motion, speed. Rapidity. I admire your celerity in getting work done because I never have to wait for your contribution to our efforts. UPS and Federal Express compete to show the greater celerity. Celerity. C-E-L-E-R-I-T-Y. Swiftness of action or motion. Speed. Rapidity. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. We will use our standard process, which you know well. Say each word and pause. 
During the pause, say the meaning of the word as you remember it. Then we will give the meaning of the word. Sequester. To set apart. Isolate. Seclude. Sequester. Stodgy. Dull or commonplace. Boring. Stodgy. Suffuse. To overspread with a fluid or color. To bathe. To flood. Suffuse. Travesty. An insulting mockery. A grotesque imitation. A sham. Travesty. Celerity. Swiftness of action or motion. Speed. Rapidity. Celerity. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is Unit 84. Kiosk. K-I-O-S-K. Small, rounded, open booth or newsstand. Please buy me a newspaper at the kiosk on the corner. The newest use for kiosks is for vending espresso and cappuccino. Kiosk. K-I-O-S-K. Small, rounded, open booth or newsstand. Sustenance. S U. S-T-E-N-A-N-C-E -E. That which sustains life, nourishment, food. A diet of potato chips will not provide adequate sustenance for an extended period. I read the classics for intellectual sustenance. Sustenance. S-U-S-T-E-N-A-N-C-E -E. That which sustains life. Nourishment. Food. Tacit. T-A-C-I-T. Implied, but not stated outright. Silent. Unspoken. If you don't hear from me, assume you have my tacit approval. I think it's time we formalized our tacit commitment in a written agreement. Tacit. T A. C-I-T. Implied, but not stated outright. Silent. Unspoken. Ablution. A-B-L-U-T-I-O-N. Washing or cleansing of the body. I can't function without my daily ablution of a morning swim. The sauna provides a healthy ablution for body and soul. Ablution. A B L U T I O N. Washing or cleansing of the body. Abraid. A B R A D E. To wear away or rub off, scrape. Sandpaper abrades and smooths the surface of wood. This starched shirt abrades my neck. Abrade. A-B-R-A-D-E. To wear away or rub off. Scrape. Now, let's review the five words you have just learned. 
kiosk. Small, rounded, open booth or newsstand, kiosk. Sustenance. That which sustains life, nourishment, food, sustenance. Tacit. Implied but not stated outright. Silent, unspoken, tacit. Ablution. Washing or cleansing of the body. Ablution. Abraid. To wear away or rub off. Scrape. Abraid. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. Sustenance isn't just food. It's real food, your staff of life, your meat and potatoes. It's what sustains you through the day, through the week, or through life. So, potato chips may titillate the tongue, but steak, potatoes, and a salad are sustenance. Comic books may be a light treat for the imagination. But the classics provide intellectual sustenance. A Christmas bonus is nice as monetary icing on the cake. But your monthly take-home pay is your financial sustenance. You can apply this concept to plenty of realities in the business world. Repeat customers supply a business with its real sustenance. Constant training is the sustenance of the total quality process. And the daily satisfaction of a job well done gives the true professional psychological sustenance. I think we've sustained this line of thought sufficiently. Then let's move on with all celerity. You've learned 420 words now. This is Unit 85. Abstruse. A B S T R U S E. Hard to understand. Obscure. Puzzling. Let's drop this abstruse discussion and get practical. A brilliant teacher can make the most abstruse subjects understandable to his students. Abstruse. A B S T R U S E. Hard to understand. Obscure, puzzling. Events. E V I N C E. To prove conclusively or show clearly. You have not evinced a single one of the claims you put forward. His set jaw and clenched fist evinced his unwillingness to move forward in the negotiations. Events. E V I N C E. To prove conclusively or show clearly. Lugubrious. L U G U B R I O U S. Very sad or mournful in the extreme. Dismal. A week of working in the fresh mountain air had the effect of replacing his lugubrious expression with a big smile. Henry's mournful state over the loss of his dog has gone too far. Now he's downright lugubrious. Lugubrious. L-U-G-U-B-R-I-O-U-S. Very sad or mournful in the extreme. Dismal. Mitigate. M-I-T-I-G-A-T-E. To lessen in intensity, to weaken, lighten, or moderate. 
His charm and good looks mitigated his untidy appearance. The judge mitigated the criminal sentence after extenuating circumstances were revealed. Mitigate, M-I-T-I-G-A-T-E, to lessen in intensity, to weaken, lighten, or moderate. Patently, P-A. T-E-N-T-L-Y Clearly, obviously, apparently. My girlfriend was patently bored at the opera, though she claimed to enjoy it. Only the most credulous audience will believe your patently false claims. Patently, P-A-T-E-N-T-L-Y Clearly, obviously, apparently. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. Abstruse. Hard to understand. Obscure. Puzzling. Abstruse. Events. To prove conclusively or show clearly. Events. Lugubrious. Very sad or mournful in the extreme. Dismal. Lugubrious. Mitigate. To lessen in intensity, to weaken, lighten, or moderate, mitigate. Patently. Clearly, obviously, apparently. Patently. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is Unit 86. Perpetrate. P E R. P-E-T-R-A-T-E -E. To commit, to execute, or carry out. Orson Welles did not intend to perpetrate a hoax with his War of the Worlds. Whoever perpetrated the museum heist made off with several irreplaceable pieces of art. Perpetrate. P-E-R-P-E-T-R-A-T-E -E -E. To commit to execute or carry out. Plaintive. P-L-A-I-N-T-I-V-E. -E. Expressing a subdued sadness, mournful, sorrowful. The plaintive melody of Amazing Grace played by bagpipes moved the congregation to tears. My landlady disregarded my plaintive story about losing my job and demanded the rent immediately. Plaintive. P-L-A-I-N-T-I-V-E. -E. Expressing a subdued sadness. Mournful. Sorrowful. Tractable. T-R-A-C-T-A-B-L-E. Manageable or easy to control. Docile. Mules are not known as tractable animals. Jane was a willful and disobedient little girl, but her sister Betty was more tractable. Tractable. T-R-A-C-T-A-B-L-E. Manageable or easy to control. Docile. 
accede, A-C-C-E-D-E, to give one's consent, agree. The college president eventually acceded to the demands of the student demonstrators. I shall never accede to your proposal that I shave my head. Accede, A-C-C-E-D-E, -E, to give one's consent, agree. Diadem, D-I-A-D-E-M, a crown or headband worn as a symbol of royalty or honor. Did you see the diadem Liz Taylor wore at the Academy Awards? My teenage son loves his baseball cap so much you would think it was a royal diadem. Diadem, D-I-A-D-E-M, a crown or headband worn as a symbol of royalty or honor. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. Perpetrate. To commit to execute or carry out, perpetrate. Plaintive. Expressing a subdued sadness, mournful, sorrowful, plaintive. Tractable. Manageable or easy to control. Docile. Tractable. Accede. To give one's consent. Agree. Accede. Diadem. A crown or headband worn as a symbol of royalty or honor. Diadem. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. Tractable and intractable are great words for describing how easy or hard it is to work with, train, or persuade someone. Tractable comes from the Latin verb trahere, which means to pull, to draw, to drag something along. Thus, a machine used for pulling heavy loads is called a tractor. And there are plenty of situations when you want to pull people along with you. Perhaps it's a sales prospect you're trying to persuade or an interviewing manager you are trying to win over, or staff you are supervising, or trainees you are teaching. The tractable ones will be easily pulled, drawn along by your persuasive arguments, or quickly acceding to your sensible proposals. But winning over the intractable folk will be like pulling an 18-wheel rig with a pickup truck. They will refuse to budge. So, when you've done your best and they don't respond, you could say in self-defense, Boss, I've tried everything, and they are simply intractable. Let's lead our tractable student of verbal skills on to Unit 87. This is Unit 87. Droll. D-R-O-L-L -L. Humorously odd, comical, funny. Your droll presentation will not amuse our stodgy client. She enlivened the dull meeting with her droll remarks. Droll, D-R-O-L-L -L. Humorously odd, comical, funny. Ennui E-N-N-U-I 
feeling of listless weariness or boredom, dissatisfaction. A sense of ennui pervaded the office during the long off-season period. I keep very busy to avoid falling into a state of ennui. Ennui, E-N-N-U-I. Feeling of listless weariness or boredom, dissatisfaction. Indisposed, I-N-D-I-S-P-O S-E-D, not inclined or willing to do, reluctant. The president was indisposed to intervene in the airline strike. Because of our current pecuniary state, we are indisposed to invest in the stock market. Indisposed, I-N-D-I-S-P-O-S-E-D, not inclined or willing to do, reluctant. Injunction, I-N-J-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, an authoritative order, a command. Mom left us with a stern injunction to do our homework. I assiduously followed the injunction to never end a sentence with a preposition. Injunction, I-N-J-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. An authoritative order, a command. Purloined, P-U-R-L-O-I-N-E-D. Stolen or filched, pilfered. The police caught the burglar with a purloined TV set. On every April 15th, I feel as if my wages have been purloined by the IRS. Purloined. P-U-R-L-O-I-N-E-D Stolen or filched, pilfered. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. Droll Humorously odd, comical, funny, droll. Ennui. Feeling of listless weariness or boredom, dissatisfaction, ennui. Indisposed. Not inclined or willing to do, reluctant, indisposed. Injunction. An authoritative order, a command, injunction. Purloined. Stolen or filched, pilfered, purloined. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is Unit 88. Regale, R-E-G-A-L-E, -E, to entertain lavishly or sumptuously, feast. We regaled our new clients with fine dining and good wine. Our witty host regaled us with entertaining stories over dinner. Regale, R-E-G-A-L-E, -E, to entertain lavishly or sumptuously, feast. Vagary, V-A-G-A-R-Y, an unexpected or unpredictable turn of events. 
Farmers are subject to the vagaries of the weather. The value of gold responds to the vagaries of the international money markets. Vagary. V-A-G-A-R-Y. An unexpected or unpredictable turn of events. Acetous. A-C-E-T-O-U-S. Vinegary. Sour. Take back this acetous wine. It's awful. I'm a cranky old man with an acetous disposition. Acetous. A-C-E-T-O-U-S. Vinegary. Sour. Alacrity. A L A C R I T Y. Cheerful readiness or promptness, eagerness. A willing worker takes up a new task with alacrity. I promised the kids some ice cream and they tackled their homework with alacrity. Alacrity. A L A C R I T Y. Cheerful readiness or promptness, eagerness. Comport, C-O-M-P-O-R-T, to behave, to conduct oneself. My usually bellicose boss decided to comport himself in a friendly fashion at the last meeting. I believe I comported myself well at that last interview. Comport, C-O-M-P-O-R-T, to behave, to conduct oneself. Now, let's review the five words you have just learned. Regale. To entertain lavishly or sumptuously. Feast. Regale. Vagary. An unexpected or unpredictable turn of events, vagary. Acetus. Vinegary, sour, acetus. Alacrity. Cheerful readiness or promptness, eagerness, alacrity. Comport. To behave, to conduct oneself, comport. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. It's time for a quick dialogue with the 10 words you have just learned. See how well you follow our exchange. To comport yourself well when entertaining business guests is essential to career advancement. If you can regale clients and colleagues with good food and drink, droll humor and fascinating anecdotes, they will begin to accept your invitations with alacrity. Of course, there is no guarantee against the vagaries of dining out, like the occasional bottle of acetous wine. Or being indisposed to entertaining that evening. Or a guest so overcome by ennui that nothing pleases him. Or having your wallet purloined the afternoon of your dinner date. Or a court injunction closing your favorite restaurant for tax evasion. But if you plan ahead and then relax and decide to have a good time, your guests will probably have a good time too. You have now climbed to the lofty height of 440 words, and the peak of the mountain is in sight. Let's keep climbing. This is Unit 89. Cryptic, 
C R Y P T I C. Hidden or secret, mysterious, puzzling. We're still trying to decipher the cryptic message found in the tomb. Many fortune tellers use cryptic language that can mean anything. Cryptic. C R Y P T I C. Hidden or secret, mysterious, puzzling. Cursory. C U R S O R Y. Rapid and superficial. Don't read it carefully, just give it a cursory glance. We were hoping for in depth coverage of our grand opening, but the newspaper gave it only cursory treatment. Cursory. C U R S O R Y. Rapid and superficial. Denizen. D E N I Z E N. Inhabitant. Resident. The octopus is a denizen of the deep. The denizens of Miami learn to live with the threat of hurricanes. Denizen. D E N I Z E N. Inhabitant. Resident. Desiccate. D E S I C C A T E. To dry thoroughly. Dehydrate. We use the desert sun to desiccate the sliced apples and bananas. Our chemistry experiment failed because we did not desiccate the sample. Desiccate. D E S I C C A T E. To dry thoroughly. Dehydrate. Egress. E G R E S S. The act or right of going out. Exit. Our neighbors wanted right of egress through our yard. Egress from the old office building was not convenient. Egress. E G R E S S. The act or right of going out. Exit. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. Cryptic. Hidden or secret, mysterious, puzzling, cryptic. Cursory. Rapid and superficial. Cursory. Denizen. Inhabitant. Resident. Denizen. Desiccate. To dry thoroughly. Dehydrate. Desiccate. Egress. The act or right of going out. Exit. Egress. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is Unit 90. Impecunious. I-M-P-E-C-U-N-I-O-U-S. Having no money. Penniless. This new job should change my impecunious status. Our chronically impecunious friend was always borrowing money. Impecunious. I-M-P-E-C-U-N-I-O-U-S. Having no money. 
penniless. Maladroit. M A L A D R O I T. Lacking skill, clumsy, blundering. His maladroit handling of the negotiation lost us the contract. I'm building vocabulary in order to improve my maladroit conversational skills. Maladroit. M A L A D R O I T. Lacking skill, clumsy, blundering. Malediction. M A L E D I C T I O N. Pronouncing a curse against someone. Slander. The boss pronounced a humorous malediction upon all who used the office copier for personal business. A profane malediction escaped Ralph's lips when the mule stepped on his foot. Malediction. M A L E D I C T I O N. Pronouncing a curse against someone. Slander. Mendicant. M E N D I C A N T. Begging. Depending on alms for a living. My impecunious uncle has adopted a mendicant way of life. A mendicant religious order is supported by charitable donations. Mendicant. M E N D I C A N T. Begging. Depending on alms for a living. Refute. R E. F U T E. To prove or show to be false or wrong. Discredit. Rebut. I shall refute your criticism with strong evidence. We easily refuted their maladroit arguments. Refute. R E F U T E. To prove or show to be false or wrong. Discredit. Rebut. Now, let's review the five words you have just learned. Impecunious. Having no money. Penniless. Impecunious. Maladroit. Lacking skill, clumsy, blundering, maladroit. Malediction. Pronouncing a curse against someone. Slander. Malediction. Mendicant. Begging, depending on alms for a living, mendicant. Refute. To prove or show to be false or wrong, discredit, rebut, refute. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is Unit 91. Salutary. S-A-L-U-T-A-R-Y. Healthful, wholesome, beneficial, salubrious. No one doubts the salutary effects of quitting smoking. Vegetarians consider their meatless eating style to be very salutary. Salutary. S-A-L-U-T-A-R-Y. 
U-T-A-R-Y. Healthful, wholesome, beneficial, salubrious. Umbridge. U-M-B-R-A-G-E. A sense of injury, resentment, offense. She took umbrage at my suggestion that she lose weight. He evinced his umbrage at our interference with violent maledictions. Umbrage. U-M-B-R-A-G-E. A sense of injury, resentment, offense. Abscond. A B S C O N D to depart suddenly and secretly. The bank robbers quickly absconded with the money to Argentina. The embezzler absconded with enough purloined cash to go around the world. Abscond. A B S C O N D to depart suddenly and secretly. A plum, A P L O M B, assurance, self confidence, poise. With absolute a plum, Officer Farley disarmed the gun waving terrorist. The captain's a plum in the emergency reassured the passengers. A plum, A P L O M B, assurance, self confidence, poise. Contrite, C-O-N-T-R-I-T-E. Overcome by sadness or remorse over past wrong actions. Penitent. John's contrite apology convinced Linda that he really meant to mend his ways. Her contrite expression was a tacit admission of guilt. Contrite, C-O-N-T-R-I-T-E. Overcome by sadness or remorse over past wrong actions. Penitent. Now let's review the five words you have just learned. Salutary. Healthful, wholesome, beneficial, salubrious, salutary. Umbridge. A sense of injury, resentment, offense, umbridge. Abscond. To depart suddenly and secretly, abscond. A plum. Assurance, self confidence, poise, a plum. Contrite. Overcome by sadness or remorse over past wrong actions. Penitent. Contrite. If you haven't mastered some of the words yet, that's fine. Go back and listen to this unit as often as needed. Remember, you can master these words. This is the end of Volume 11. Thank you.